first impressions? Um, incredible. Uh, it's something that I've never experienced before. Um, it's something completely unique and completely different. Uh, and in the moment, I mean, it takes it takes a while to get used to it and get to get opened up, and to allow your body to sort of. I don't want to say enjoy, but to get to that state, uh, and once you're in it, it's completely, I don't know, it feels natural, it feels like, again, being in a chair and learning to walk again, everything's linear, everything, okay, you move it up, you move it down, you move it, you don't move it side to side, it's very, everything's on, it has to be on a specific axis, whereas here, you're opening up all new dimensions, it's like going into space, where you're going, oh, there's something over here, there's something over here, and oh, you can go down here. So it's, it's like, again, it's an experience that I've never experienced before in my life. Just express it pretty well, though, from what I can gather. And as you say, but those things, you walked in the door here today, and what, from what you expected and what you just went through, how would you, how would you sort of label that timeline? Didn't expect it at all. Um, and seeing it for the first time, too, uh, I don't I, I mean, I didn't know what to expect, and I didn't know what kind of results to expect. But going through it and experiencing like the first session, um, I'd come back for more in a heartbeat. And again, I already feel better. I already feel different. I feel sort of looser, calmer, more. My body feels more like my own body rather than, like you said, the person with a spinal cord injury. It feels more at home now. And just you were just expressing before about some of the different feelings you had. Um, you were feeling some sensations that your body hadn't felt since the accident. Uh, muscle activation-wise. So, again, I had the major muscle groups um, and very, very linear motions, but it was all sort of the sporadic and the offbeat muscles and offbeat movements that I hadn't done in three and a half years, where instead of moving your leg up and down, you're moving it over here and to the left, to the right, and, you know, in all these different angles, all these different uh, places, and that's, that, that was really the newest thing. Um, and the ease of it too. It, it wasn't. I didn't think about it. It just happened. It. I didn't have to control it. I didn't have to do anything. It was just instantaneous. And before I knew, it, it was already over here and over there and down there. And <coughs> I was standing on my toes and standing on my heels. And you know, it was. It was all at once. You said this is. You've been waiting a long time to come here and experience this. And what was the. What was the understanding that you thought it might be like, and what is the reality? Or are they pretty much the same, or a bit different? I honestly had no expectations coming in because I had no idea what Ken and the physio, uh, the neurophysics was all about. Um, I had very little information coming in. I had a very, I had a very open mind, and I'm always down to try and always willing to try new physios and new form of, of treatment and rehab and it is probably better than what I could have ever expected it to be. So the amount of friends, the amount of people that I know in the wheelchair community, in the disabled community, uh, the amount of people that can, you could help. Yes. I mean, obviously I'm not going to be quiet about it. I'm going to tell everyone I know and say nothing but good things because like I said, I myself for one would be here tomorrow if I could, if I had the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So imagine all the other people that would like you said, but we're living in wheelchairs and spending their time rolling from place to place where they could be walking or running from place to place. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's there's countless, countless people that can be helped. You've got a lot of history. You've tried, obviously, you've tried a lot of different things to, to get yourself to where you are now, which is very impressive. But how would you compare this? I know it's only been one day and a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. to what you've experienced here, just perhaps some of the other options, not to criticise them, but how would you compare it in a, in a field of options that might be out there? I would say it's the most unique um, and the most out there, but in a good way. Yes. Um, and you have to sort of mentally get over the first, you have to open yourself up. And again, you can, you have been talking about opening up and letting it in, and Tom has, and you don't understand it, and you don't experience it, and you don't know it until you experience it, until you do it. And it all, again, makes so much sense mm -hmm. now, and it's much easier to understand and to think about and to know. And the point is, we do get results. I mean, every week we're helping people with spinal cord injuries to, to really enhance themselves. So, so, <coughs> excuse me, so you can sort of see where the, the studies really should be yeah, getting applied. Absolutely. You know, like we, we know why this works. We know there's no black boxes where devotion and blind faith and all those sort of things have got to go into. Mm -hmm. We understand the dynamics, we know what's going, going on. 
and we certainly know how to exploit it yeah. or, and, and teach the person. Yeah. So it's the person that fixes themselves. Like we're just standing there giving instructions, yeah. and shaking the system. You're, and you're giving guidance, basically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you're not, it's, it's hands off in that respect. But to sense that difference, you know, when I when I just when I include things like if I put my pressure mm -hmm. and I, I give you a symbolic representation of what that actually means, mm -hmm. the things holding you down, and you mm -hmm. see that this natural innate aspects come out of your system where it wants to to do things, yeah. and that's that's the that's what I'm getting back to what we're talking about the cats and mice. It's that innate struggle to to get going mm -hmm. and that fight that's in there. And um, it's in this, that's when I was flicking it around and just getting it to loose up. So when I'm doing that, it's sending those signals up to the brain. It knows what that's all about. Mm -hmm. They're letting go of that, that restraint that's been in there. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah. Well, I think that was the toughest part, really. And especially on my right side, I felt the tightness and, yeah. you know, it just didn't want to cooperate. Yes. But again, with time, with sort of getting accustomed to it, getting used to it, right. and being more adaptive, that's when it started to sort of all tie in and yeah. come together. And getting that centeredness. So you've got that even distribution through both sides. You're not seeing things as a, a right and a left leg. It's right. just everything working together all of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah. But um, you know, once you start to get that, that mapping, which you've done several, several times, um, about setting new goals, it does need a, a map. It's got to have some you know, goal and objective in mind, or otherwise it just falls in those cheap economical states. Mm -hmm. So it's like anything, you're trying to improve your tennis suit. Well, you've got to have a, you know, vision of what that all looks like and to go through it bit at a time. So visualization, of course it's important to be able to see yourself running. And we, you know, we, we progress, we get into the rubber bands and you know, off you go so you can see that your legs can actually run. Mm -hmm. I have no doubt today if we'd put them in there they would have taken off like oh, the same bolt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? but, um, but then you've got to then cognitively get connected to that so yeah. that you can see. So we know that it can do it, you just got to take control over it. Yeah. See, he's got his system nicely open now, so now it can start to look at where the errors are and what it needs to do to enhance its complexity. And um, so there's still a map in there of the perfect poorly. It's just got a chip away and it's not, not part of that map. Um, he's a very willing particip participant by the sound of it. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, of course he wants to get on with things, this guy. Don't you, Paul? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh I've been it. waiting for this for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, let's go back another step. So, really, did the system open quite easily, or oh, it was a little bit hard. It was a bit, bit restrained to begin with, but um, you know, just that progressive and you know, just talking. Mean, like obviously, when people had spinal cord injuries, they are they they learn to that everything is about control, like, but they they get to the state where their system becomes over control. So we've got to give over a bit of that control and allow the system to open up again and just be creative again. So it's just natural. All systems want to, to enhance their own complexity under the right sets of initial conditions. So what he's doing here now, it'll go through all these different operations and get rid of noisy bits and start to, to make a lot more sense. So when he goes to walk and do functional movements again, he learns to be more on the edge of chaos rather than trying to control it so much, just right on that edge. So we're talking about Marky Matthews with the surfing and all that sort of stuff, being right in that nice soft assembled state. So they don't have to think so much about what they're going to do. Their body just naturally responds to its environment. And just take us back through. You went to about three or four different stations, and that mm -hmm. was all the process of opening it, him up, wasn't what it? What he, yeah, what I felt he needed to do. It's different for every single person. You've got to sort of use the bits of information you got from there. Yeah. Okay, so the fly was first. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And then we got onto the leg adductor, which is the lower version. So the mm -hmm. system's getting a bit more creative here now. The, the lower body version of what the fly was, so coming into sensitive, vulnerable regions of his system. That started to get a little bit going, so once we lied on the floor then, it, he was able to elaborate on that. And you just say it's getting a bit more creative now, because it's, 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 yeah, it's going every which way, isn't it's it? It's starting to do more operations, yeah. But it'll, you'll find these really, it'll go in these really noisy bits, and then it gets rid of some noise, and then it allows it to do more creative things past that point. Paul, he did walk, as you said, a little bit, a little bit of restraint before, but now he is well and truly. He's it's a, it's he's liberating that, yeah. yeah. So yeah, he's You're not surprised considering where Paul has what he's already achieved yeah. so far himself. That's right, yeah. And um, but it's just getting an appreciation of what's going on there. Yeah, Paul, he's feeling that liberation through that leg. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I haven't felt like this since before my injury. Yeah. I mean, uh, 
and it's strange too you can kind of turn it on and off like yeah. you say yeah. um, and like I said uh, just the movements and the muscles activation I haven't activated or used these muscles since three and a half years now yes so yeah. it's it's quite incredible for sure. Yeah. And which, which muscles are they you talking about? Which ones? Well, just in my legs, in my hips. Like I mean, just the the movements, um, everything. So and all. You can lift your leg up there now. Yeah. 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 See, beautiful. Yeah. Weren't doing that before. I was, but not as not easily. Free, that? Yeah. No. no. You don't overthink it. It's just that nice, soft assembled state. Well, I haven't stood on my right leg for that long in three and a half years. Is that right? Yeah. Isn't it? Like my balance, my point of balance on my right leg, I haven't stood like that on my right leg in a long time, three and a half years. Yeah. 